Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. And if it's not, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I am transforming three thrift store item into beautiful spring Easter decor. Let's get started. I found this beautiful piece at the thrift store. This looks like some kind of a maybe a hot plate uh, that you put one of your pots on top because this is a ceramic tile. But the first thing I'm doing with this is give it a good cleanup. And then I'm giving it three coats of white chalk paint. I found these beautiful napkins. They are perfect for spring and Easter decor. So the first thing I'm doing is cutting the piece that I want. Now I'm using some Mud Podge in the matte finish and I am going to apply some glue on the back of uh, my napkin, on the top of my tiles I should say. And I'm doing this uh, by section, so little bit by little bit. I'm applying and then rubbing my napkin very gently with uh, my paintbrush. And once I'm done with this little section, I'm going to go uh, lift the napkin on the other side and apply more glue and then continue. I'm using the help of a hair dryer to dry in between each coat to speed up the process. Now that my third coat is nice and dry, I'm just using a mini X-Acto knife to cut the extra uh, napkin on the edges. And here is the final result. This is so cute. I just love these bunny napkins and it's perfect for spring and Easter decor. I found these two beautiful solid wood candle holders at the thrift store and I'm going to use this as a base. I also found these two pots. They look like um, kind of a concrete um, material. They are really, really heavy. And the first thing I'm doing is taking my uh, Rust-Oleum chalk paint in white linen and giving two coats of chalk paint to these two pots. My two pots are painted and dried and now I'm using some um, Mod Podge in the matte finish. I'm using the same napkin as in the previous project but in this case I'm going to um, use both sides of the napkin which means I am going to cut straight in the middle here all the way through and use one side of this napkin. 
With my scissors, I'm going to cut all along the top around the shape of uh, the bunnies and the grass um, to get rid of most of the napkin on top. I'm also not going to uh, worry about that little butterfly for the moment as I'm going to apply it uh, afterwards. Now I'm removing the second ply on the bottom and just using the top. I think I might have forgot to mention this in the first project. I'm cutting the brown buddy out as he's just too tall for the project. I'm aligning my napkin um, in a way that I can see most of the bunnies and I'm applying the Mod Podge the very same way I did in the first project. Now I'm just cutting the extra piece of napkin on top and bottom. Now I'm gently dabbing Mod Podge all over um, the project and also um, gluing the edges on top and bottom as well. And this is what it looks like so far, but as you can see, I'm missing a piece on the back. So I'm picking a part of the Nat King that I'm going to use to um, fill in that blank. But first, I'm hair drying uh, this part to make it easier to work with as I don't wanna touch it and break the Nat King, if that makes sense. Now I'm placing the napkin where I want it and cutting accordingly. As you can see here, I don't wanna cover the uh, gray bunny's ear, so I'm just cutting a piece off to uh, make it more uh, suitable. And now I'm just repeating from the previous section. Now I still have a space to fill here, so I'm using a little gray bunny 
and cutting again the edges that are unwanted in order to fit that bunny in place and I'm just going to repeat all the other steps. Now I'm using sandpaper and I'm sanding all the napkin that is glued to the top edge of this pot and then I'm going to give a quick fresh coat of paint on the top edges. Before painting the edge I'm getting rid of all this dust. Now I'm applying two more coats of um, Mod Podge to the project, drying in between each coat. Now it's nice and dried and I'm gonna go ahead and put the bottom part to the bowl with some hot glue. And here is what it looks like so far. I don't know if I like the brown bottom or not, but now what I'm going to do is take some greeneries and fill the top with some greeneries and then I'll decide if I leave the bottom brown or if I want to do an extra step to it. Now this vase turned out beautiful, but the brown bottom, it's not going to be suiting for every decor and I want this to be versatile. So I decided that I'm painting the bottom part. So I'm going to go ahead and give two coats of chalk paint to the bottom part. My two coats are nice and dry and I'm using this sanding sponge to smooth the uh, chalk paint and also to distress the bottom piece as well. Now I'm getting rid of all the dust. And this is the final result. I just love how it turned out. This makes a very 
beautiful decorative piece for spring and Easter. I found this three-piece canister set and I loved it because I love the flat front on it and it's perfect to use uh, my napkin um, process but first I'm going to spray these cans with some spray paint in the linen white and I'm going to allow to dry in between each coat and I went ahead and it's all ready. I made sure that I filled the inside of these jars with some paper to make sure that I keep this food safe. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and process with the napkins. I went ahead and cut the pieces that I want for the front and I pick the tall brown bunny for the tallest jar. So what I'm doing now is putting the jar on top of the napkin and tracing it so I can cut it down to size. Now I'm getting rid of most of the white part of the napkin as I can and I'm also going to cut off the butterfly and apply it afterwards. Now I'm repeating steps from previous projects, so I'm not going to repeat everything. I'm just going to scroll through this quite quickly and, and show you the final result. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply this butterfly. And I have extra butterfly left from other pieces of napkin, so I'm going to use it as well. For this last jar, I'm going to cut the tall brown bunny because he's just too tall and then I'm going to add some pieces to match the rest of uh, the napkin.
Now I'm applying three coats of Mod Podge to each piece, allowing to dry in between each coat. The Mod Podge is nice and dried, and now I'm applying three coats of this clear matte protective spray. Now I'm removing all the paper from inside the jar giving it a good wash and they are all set to use. And here is the final result for this canister set. I absolutely love it. It is so suitable for spring and Easter. Well, that's it for this video, folks. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of these Easter spring uh, DIYs. And if you liked it, please give me the big thumbs up. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel and you like what you've seen, well, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, folks, you have yourself a wonderful day.